find it the interesting thing with running too and you won't have to worry about this with your goal with a javelina 100 because you're kind of safe from it on the trails and things Sweet. like that at this point but the one of the biggest shifts i've seen is the super shoe i'm sure you've probably at least familiar of the the the, the path of this where historically on race day like the lower profile lighter firmer sure you could get away with keyword get away with was the better option so like if you could get down to something that was like a couple ounces or a few ounces yeah. super responsive super firm great you're probably gonna get better performance out of that shoe but if you're doing something like a marathon or an ultra marathon you have to be able to tolerate that loading of that type of footwear so you have to work at it you right. have to really build up that lower leg strength and that durability uh, whereas now with the, the super shoots, essentially, I mean, there's, there's some synergy between like the carbon plates and the foam, but really the foam is the big mover here where now you have something where essentially the more foam you add, the more efficient the shoe gets to yeah. the degree where they've had to put regulations down as how high you could stack a shoe. Yeah. Cause it, they had, it's going to get crazy. It, yeah. <laughs> they put a limit on it. it 